The question often asked, is it the oldest clock in the country? Well, it's a component of the oldest clock in the country. The absolutely obvious factors of the Villamy clock is that the quality of manufacture is, is a cut above. It really is. It's just incredible. They're, they're all handmade, one at a time, uh, tooth by tooth, pin by pin, alignment by alignment, in every aspect. And you, you realise just how precise everything is when you discover that you can't um, swap over um, anything within it. Everything goes in exactly. Everything holds itself there. There's not side shake, it's just, it's just perfect. And that's, that's an element of quality that you don't normally find within a tower clock. It's big and robust. And he's built a, a tower clock with the precision you expect from a high-end bracket clock or wristwatch. Beautifully done. Yeah, yeah, it's much better than the norm. Um, Volumi was aim aiming for, we understand, about two tenths of a second per day. Basically the accuracy of a quartz watch. Which is important for a public clock which is regulating not just the, the dial on the outside but also regulating society. This is the clock that the colony would have been using to set everybody's watch by. It's not until you actually uh, get the pendulum to swing that you actually can observe the operation and measure operation, that you actually can be saying, without a doubt, yes, the calculations are correct. Impulse, supplementary arc, uh, total amplitude, uh, operation, build up of amplitude, all those sort of things by the clock itself. When those things all happen, it's always super rewarding and that without a doubt those few minutes following that startup was the most exciting part of the, um, the restoration. <laughs>